First, more stunning details tonight on the security breach that's rocked WA police. The commissioner revealing the teenage bogus officer at the centre of the scandal even attended a road crash in uniform. It also emerged a third person may have been involved. Alice Pooley has the latest. Police say it took a man of high intelligence to pull off a scam this big. At least nine times during May, the 18-year-old gained access to police facilities in the city. But it's believed he had help. A 25-year-old custody officer from the East Perth Watch House has been stood down over the scandal. And it's believed a third person who knew the internal layout of police headquarters also assisted. It would have been extremely difficult for this person to breach security protocols without some assistance from a third party. Um, I can't remember in living memory anyone ever getting through the security in the Perth Watch House for argument's sake. Police say the imposter first infiltrated police headquarters in early May. The teenager allegedly gained access to the secure building wearing a police lanyard and business suit. Officers say he asked to go to the bathroom but once inside went straight to a place that stores old uniforms and stole some. It's then alleged in mid-May, using what he stole, he breached security at Curtin House twice, taking gloves and another lanyard. Then police say he moved on to the East Perth Watch House, getting inside six times. On one occasion, stealing a security swipe card from a car. Police believe he even attended the scene of a car crash in uniform and are investigating the possibility he was allowed on patrol in Northbridge. I found it... Uh... You know, to be embarrassing in a sense. For us, it's also a wake-up call, so we can do some more work on security. A massive internal investigation has been launched, but the state opposition is calling for the Triple C to take over and for Police Minister Rob Johnson to step aside. I think that's just um, Michelle Roberts, you know, hyping the situation up again and trying to make a name for herself. Uh, I don't believe there's any reason for the Triple C to carry out the initial investigation. Police have likened the imposter to con artist Frank Abagnale, portrayed in Hollywood movie Catch Me If You can who posed as a pilot but they say the Seville Grove teenager was fascinated with the force and simply wanted to be a policeman but his father wouldn't give written permission to allow him to become a cadet. Alice Pooley, 10 News.